Good morning and welcome back to Challenger Valley. We today are getting started getting the tedding done. This grass is wet, needs to be done over a little bit to dry. We have given the 5610 a bit of a service today. We've also purchased a beacon for the top of it. So hopefully now we should be set for the harvest. We are going to need a beacon on it for doing the carting, once the crops are ready. down here actually getting a, I'd say a worm's eye view but probably a dog's eye view of the tractor in action. And get this all great tedded and dried and then we can get it right. all of the great doesn't work perfectly to be honest but get ourselves around get ourselves around here we we'll do one trail at a time it does break better that way Definitely need a new rake, it is getting worn out a little this thing. We will get this all done. There we go. Everything on the farm is up to date. We had did, as I said in the last episode, we did borrow twenty thousand or so to get ourselves a lawnmower, basically to tidy up the yard and the the lawn at the farm, at least at the farm house. Get all that done. We do first mowing over at the farmhouse off camera. Need mowing again. Some of the yard needs mowing, of course, because we need to around where the fuel tank is and things like that. Need to get some mowing done. Now need to get on to this breed for the second time because we've got grass here which didn't dry or didn't ted because we tried taking too much away. Now we can get ourselves turned around, Let's put the camera up a little higher. And we will now around the post. Oh. 
So yeah, I think it's going to go from here at the moment. baler in, get some more bales made. Not sure whether to get ourselves a silage bale wrapper to wrap silage bales actually. Which will be good. Will give us a little bit more money and then also we'll have it once we get the cattle going forward. We do plan on getting some cows on the farm. So definitely going to need to make some silage going forward. We'll see. see how we do with that. Will be a case of wrapping the bales. This field also, of course, We've got time before harvest. Also needs ploughing, cultivating, and reseeding, ready for next year's. Hey, Mikey. Silage bales. It'll work out nicely that. Get all this great job. Once you get it semi dried, and we should be able to. Made in silage. Then with the two beet factory producing beet pulp and animal beet pellets, we may not need silage. Is another train of thought to go forward. Is 
pretty worn out, definitely needs a bit of an upgrade. We will see about that going forward as well. Definitely going to need a Feed the animals going forward. For some reason, some of that top corner doesn't doesn't work. We've got some broken tines probably in the tether. Uh, it will do for this year. It's the last field to be done this year. We also need to get those two fields that didn't grow cultivated and sort out a crop for those going forward. in this after my second COVID vaccination and touch wood, fingers crossed, we feel fine at the moment after the first one got very tired and woke up on the following day with a painful arm. They said that it may be worse this time because I've already got antibodies in my system. I'm not sure how it works, but as of the moment, touch wood, we are feeling fine. Just that bit of a flick, there we go. Uh, yeah, we will get this done. Maybe a case of taking the loader tractor over to the store and picking up a bell wrapper if we can get one. need to expand the farm going forward as well. No point in just staying the same if you can grow. If any land comes up for sale within travel but distance of the farm we will more than probably put a bid in for it. We are getting, we will go straight up here, take that piece that didn't tend before into it this time. Definitely will speed up the tending process if we can get a newer model that doesn't miss bits. almost 20 hours on this structure in its first year.
continue on get this done before we finish work today we may finish recording long before this is done but rest assured we will get the job done some reason over that side it does miss a chunk each time look reasonably thick this grass that we've cut once you start turning it or raking it sorry no yeah turning it it was right first time once you make a start with the tedding it plucks it up and it looks a whole lot thicker than it does when it's laid on the ground wet we will head down there, there we go Another chunk there, trying to go too wide. Keeping this side wheels close to where we've already tedded does mean, although it's overlapping, it's not missing anything, so working reasonably well this way of working. Not sure what we will have here next year to do this job, but definitely work for this machine looking a little green with the amount of running on grass it's done be too far off having all this rate by the time you leave us I don't think Must be well over halfway in here now. And 19.8 hours on the tractor. We will 
we'll take this track once more just to get this Ted that got missed. Back on track again. This tractor may at some point end up on a front loader. Gonna need a front loader in the yard as well as a front loader out in the field, so slowly work it in where we get it. Now getting very close to the finish of the field, but even closer to the finish of today's episode as we keep going around we will say our goodbyes and let you see the tractor keep working on its way out of the end of the video. Uh, for today that is where we're going to leave it. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode Ted in the second cut of grass. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when we do our farming when we do our racing until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now